Kremlin prepares Russians for 10-year war with complete destruction of Ukraine. Russian state media published comments by Dmitry Medvedev, deputy chairman of the Russian Security Council, in a particular interpretation, supporting the Kremlin's efforts to prepare Russians for a prolonged war in Ukraine. The goal, as stated, is allegedly to achieve the destruction of Ukrainian statehood within 10 years, reports the Institute for the Study of War, ISW. In an interview with the Russian publication Argumenti i Facti, Dmitry Medvedev stated that NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg's suggestion that Ukraine could join the alliance within the next 10 years was not for nothing. Medvedev claimed that Ukraine will never join NATO, citing potential changes in NATO leadership by 2034 and the possibility that the notorious country 404 may also cease to exist. The Institute for the Study of War noted that Medvedev did not explicitly state that Ukraine would cease to exist by 2034, but Russian media, including the Kremlin's TASS news agency, quickly published articles with headlines such as Medvedev admitted that Ukraine will not exist in 2034 and Medvedev predicted the disappearance of Ukraine by 2034. Experts believe this interpretation aims to shape public expectations in Russia that the country can win the war and achieve its goals of destroying Ukrainian statehood within 10 years. This Kremlin narrative directly undermines attempts by some Kremlin officials to suggest that Russia is willing to negotiate for peace with Ukraine. It further emphasizes that the only acceptable end to the war for the Kremlin is the destruction of the Ukrainian state and people, the ISW noted. Neither Ukraine nor the West can expect to negotiate with Russia on Russia's terms if Russia's terms are premised on the eradication of Ukraine and its people in the next 10 years, the Institute stated. Earlier, the ISW noted that the Kremlin's harsh and uncompromising conditions for peace negotiations are tantamount to Ukraine's capitulation and indicate President Vladimir Putin's lack of interest in honest negotiations on any terms other than Russian ones. Previously, Putin stated that the condition for ceasing fire against Ukraine is Kyiv's renunciation of four Ukrainian regions and NATO membership. Sixteen people were killed in a fire at a department store in Sichuan province in China's southwest, state media said. The fire broke out in a 14-story building in a high-tech zone of the city of Zigong, shrouding the vicinity with thick smoke, according to the Xinhua News Agency. Social media video posts showed clouds of thick black smoke coming from the windows on the building's lower levels and engulfing the entire 14-story structure as they rose into the sky. Huge flames were visible, and firefighters fought the fire with water. Local media said firefighters also used several drones. About 30 people were rescued from the blaze after nearly 300 emergency workers and dozens of vehicles were dispatched from the local fire department to the scene, state broadcaster CCTV reported. In a statement, China's Ministry of Emergency Management urged rescue workers and provincial officials to determine the cause of the fire as soon as possible, and to learn lessons to ensure greater security in the future. Preliminary investigation showed the fire was due to construction operations. Further investigation was underway to identify the specific cause of the fire. Fire hazards remain a problem in China which reported 947 fire fatalities in this year's first few months ending on May 20, up 19% from the same period of the previous year, said Li Wanfeng, a spokesperson for the National Fire and Rescue Administration. Li said the number of fires in public places such as hotels and restaurants rose 40% and that the most common causes were malfunctioning in electrical or gas lines and carelessness. In January, a fire killed 39 people in a commercial building in the southeastern Chinese province of Jiangxi. It was caused by unauthorized welding in the basement. In February, another 15 people were killed in a residential building in the eastern city of Nanjing, after an attached parking lot that had electric bikes caught fire. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>